What's the first thing you see when you walk into a major supermarket? Most likely, it's the brightly coloured display of fresh fruits and vegetables. And how does all that fresh produce make you feel? Well, the answer is a very basic part of supermarket psychology. Or if you like, trolleyology. The important thing in the supermarket entrance is to make it as easy as possible for you to get in and start shopping. So how exactly is this place making me feel so welcome? Well, it's a funny thing, Renee. What's happened is you've entered, you're welcome, but you're also not allowed to leave. As you can see, the metaphorical doors are closing. Well, I could go out the exit. Well, you could, but you're not going to because you've already invested in the relationship with the supermarket. Right. Mm. OK, well, let's start the relationship. <laughs> OK. First up in the big supermarket chains is the fruit section. Fresh means healthy and feeling good. Would you feel the same way if it was toilet paper and cleaning product? And so we're in a good mood, the place is fresh, the place is good, we begin the journey. And as you enter the first aisle, the supermarket has us in its power. Well, there is this crazy psychological plan going on. Even at the, at the entrance to the aisle, that starts the whole process. It gets you to look at particular products and brands and says, come on down this aisle. Right. And it's really important here, from the supermarket's perspective, to get people away from the edges and draw them into the centre if they're buying particular products that are going to be highly emotional. Emotional? Yeah, and it's not emotional as we break down and cry, but it's the things that we engage with at a really high level. So we might engage, for example, with the coffees that we buy. People take their coffee very seriously. Yes. And so rather than sticking it on the end of the aisle where people are going to block it and think a lot about it, what they do is that they put the coffee or baby food, for example, in the centre of the aisle, which means that they can get all of the, all the people who are stopping and thinking too much out of the way. In the major chains, each aisle is a psychological funnel heading us towards the end cap display. It's a really big part of the plan. You know, what they're doing is that they're signalling to you that these are important, interesting things. Yeah, right. And often they'll use well-known brands, for example. I kind of assume, actually, when they're on the ends here, that they're going to be, like, kind of the best special, like the cheapest option. Well, it's interesting because the brands actually pay large sums of money to be put in these prime positions. It's oh, a really, really good example of, of prime real estate. The payments are called slotting fees, and big manufacturers will pay up to a million dollars for a prime position in a major supermarket chain. And the shoppy experience is never over until the cash register sings. 